What up, boy? Oh, what's up? How are you? <laughs> Get sharp, get sharp. So yeah, our second episode, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we're ready to the second episode, but certainly we have to start this episode by acknowledging the passing yeah, um director table yeah. home. Sad news, sad yeah, news, yeah. yeah. Uh um um it's actually unfortunate that um I had to actually learn about him and his great achievement and work that he's done over the years. But um from what people have been writing and how they've been describing him, you can tell that he was actually one of the best in the creative industry and he got his flowers, I think, yeah. with some of the great awards that he had achieved. And um sad news, but and he's got yeah. Shaka Lembe. Like, I mean, a legacy. I mean, with with Izo Izo, yes, but mm-hmm. now, you know, sort of like a full circle kind of moment, you know, he he pioneered an industry by producing co-directing and starting off Coco Izo Izo and now he ended his life having left us with Ishakelem Ishakelembe so it's a big one yeah Yeah. great shows indeed that he actually worked on yeah man but hey but that's so young hey 49 imagine you know but anyway uh, uh, may his soul rest in peace we have no details as to um, what happened to him and uh, any details on memorial service or, or any of them. So check out the social medias, probably all the information will be there by now. Um, on a more positive side, mm-hmm. um, we just want to say happy birthday to your queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this week was Rami uh, uh birthday. Listen, the reason why I wanted to, to do this on the show is because Honestly, I actually forgot to wish a baby. Wow. <laughs> now, now you have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Love you, my friend. But yeah, I, I forgot to wish a happy birthday on, on, on Twitter. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I got a show now. Yeah. We'll do it on the show. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, she deserves that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm ex- you know, um, at, she's one of those people that I still call her by a character name. Yeah. Like, to me, she will always be Tikom. Yeah. Uh, even if she plays any other character, even if they said today she woke up and she's playing Queen Elizabeth, I yeah. don't care. She'll still be Tigom to me, definitely. No, but look, it happens. It happens that one yeah. gets that character. In it. But I think, I think, I think with her, um, the Tigom thing transcended the TV show. I, I think there are people who would call it Tigom who've never seen the Queen. That people don't even know what Tigom means. Do you even know? Yeah, uh, no, you don't. Yeah, <laughs> tell you, I don't know. Tell you, I don't know. Is the gracious one, Mabu? What was oh, the name? Um, I, Mabusi Mabuza. Gracious Mabuza. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. the gracious one. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. Oh, that, yeah, now it yeah. Makes sense. You see what I mean? Yeah. That thing transcended the show. It became bigger than the show that even people are using it without even yeah. understanding or knowing where, yeah. where what, what it means. But yeah. So that that right. So happy birthday, Rami. We love you. Uh, we birthday, will have you on the yeah. show very soon. Why are you guys not being promoted? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. So what have you been watching this week? What's on your TL? Um, finally managed to finish what is this show? The Idol. Yeah. The Idol produced by who's this? The same um creator from Euphoria. I have no idea who that is. I didn't watch Euphoria. Like I, I was, no, no, no. I'm not the second market for that. It was a little too, 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 too young and drugs and you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, yeah, I get that, you. I get you in that one. That. Um, yeah. So yeah. So that. there's been literally like so much criticism about the show online yeah. as yeah. to which one, idols or Euphoria? No, the idols, the idols. Oh, side. Okay, okay, okay. So there's like criticism in terms of how some of the scenes were executed, the what? sex scenes, the oh, script, wait, wait, and everything scenes, else. Okay. I mean, the weekend. I wouldn't say the weekend is a bad actor, but that character is he a lead? Uh, I think so. I think he's a lead. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause um, who's this? Who's this? Um, Johnny Depp's daughter. Okay. She's actually okay. on it. Lily Rose Depp. Yeah, yeah. She's actually on it. They finally wrapped up. We're supposed to be finishing at episode six, but they had to finish it at episode five because of. Yeah, it was kind of, it was actually heated with all the conversations about the show. Yeah. Just people were not happy about it in general. The production or the actual show itself? Or is it the drama outside Look, of the show? How is the show itself? Like, Okay, like, I would say... Um, did you enjoy it? I, I enjoyed the music part of the show. Okay. I enjoyed the music part of the show. I felt like the show could have gone a different direction. But they were more focused on scenes that were a bit um, cringe. Yeah. Yeah. So you would watch like a scene and not enjoy it. Like you, it would actually make you feel uncomfortable watching it. Yeah. And that's the problem about the show. Because when I read the storyline, I thought it was going to be based about based on um, an artist basically trying to reclaim 
uh, has fought in like the industry as yeah. like a big artist going back on tour and just making sure that she's actually pushing her music and all that stuff. But mm. it was actually not, um, it was not really one of those shows that I'd actually just go back and watch again. Uh, very uncomfortable, but it is what it is. Yeah, cool. Look, um, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back on, on, on watching TV, but I'm not really watching anything new. This week I didn't watch anything new per se, but I was looking forward to seeing the new season of, of Skim Sum. Oh, incredible, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and, 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 and I was impressed, you know. Um, uh, um, I generally don't like soapies, you know, and mm -hmm. I see her Skim Sum, they still do that thing of, when they end the scene, somebody just holds their moment. <laughs> no ways. <laughs> no ways. <laughs> they do that. No way. I'm, I swear to God, now that I've told you, you'll start noticing it. You start noticing it. <laughs> which scene? Which scene? Scene. When the scenes are ending, Joe, you must watch, especially when, when they are in the um, um, police station, when the police... Oh, there's always like, a drama like, text like, in, there's always a drama text. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Obviously, I wanted to see mm. how Hungani is going to do, you know, as the new T-Boss. And, and, and he, did, he did okay, you know. Um, they actually even sound a little bit alike, you know, with yeah. their little high, squeaky voice and all of that. So I thought that was great. Obviously, this um, T-Boss is skinny. I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was also happy to see uh, Philip Tomejani has now gotten top bidding. So top bidding is basically when your name appears before the name of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, that means that you've gotten a promotion. So I don't know pay his contract with South Africa, but we do things these days. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know who that's that. that actually mean Jorge, he got promoted and he hopefully, hopefully he's getting more, more money, money yeah. and all of that. Yeah, but I noticed that his his name is. Um, is getting top billing. Um, and in terms of uh, the season, what I love about Skim Sum is that even if you don't watch Skim Sum for a very long time, when you come back, they're not just dwelling on old things. You know what I mean? You're able to get into so a new storyline yeah. and move with that storyline. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I'm enjoying that. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, okay. Breaking news, before we started shooting, I uh, just got an email about um, Rosemary's hit list. Um, and it's broken the record that was held by Devil's Dorp on, on Show Max. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just pull that quickly. I've got another breaking news about Casper. Hey, it's it's oh. busy, 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 busy. Are we busy. getting another boxing match perhaps? No, it, uh, 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 the statement says that um, Rosemary's hit list has set a new record for the most first day views on Show Max of any documentary series. So yeah, congratulations to them. to them for that. Congrats yeah, them, so the four yeah. episode. I do very well. I haven't seen the new one. We're not going to talk about it. We talked about it last week. I haven't watched it also. Yeah, yeah but... I haven't seen the new one. Um, The other breaking news, uh, or should I hold it after we finish about the TV shows? Because I really, really, really want to talk about um that show that you like. Women's show. Uh, the show makes one. Uh, Mummy what what? Mummy Club. Oh, the Mummy Club. Oh, okay. And the reason why I want to talk about the Mummy Club is just one thing that bothered me about this week's episode that I could not mention on Twitter, because hey, people on Twitter these days are very, you know. They'll fetch you. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Mops is the favorite, obviously. She's great television. She is the favorite of the show. She mm -hmm. makes good TV. I love it to bits. I get cringes sometimes when she speaks. I'm like, who speaks like that 24-7? Like, doesn't she get tired? To, you know, I love that. But here's the thing that bothered me a little bit about that episode. Heidi at Mrs. Mops. Why the freaking, freaking hell would they put that table outside? It looked like some Aki Zukaro Karo 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 Jumple Sayli. Which, uh, you mean the, the high tea? Bro? Yeah, at, uh, that's Miss, Miss, Mrs. Mops. Uh -huh. You mean the Chanel high tea? Not all you? of them were wearing Chanel, though. Exactly, yeah. on top of that. And, and also, the setup just looked so basic. And I, I thought, it's Mrs. Mops, you know? I was expecting you know, waiters, footmen, you know, like I was expecting a whole thing. Yeah. And all we had is just a table, you know, that drape in Karabakou because stock filling. Ay, and boy, I, 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 no, seriously, I was, I was not impressed. And I was like, what are they doing? If there's one thing that's going to annoy me about the show is that thing, Yahore. We are not in COVID. Hmm. This thing of shooting scenes with just the ladies alone and whatever. The two housewives are doing that. We don't when, need When was that. it shot, actually? Was it shot this year or last year? Uh, probably last year or early this year. Probably last year. Mm -hmm. most, yeah, last year because Joe Beck, yeah, last year. But anyway, my thing is this. Jorge, if you are going to present these ladies as ladies of leisure and ladies of opulence and ladies of whatever, yeah. show us that. 
And these days don't live. I know Hore, sometimes when you shoot in reality show, you have to clear it with other people. There's um what do you call it? The release forms and all of that. I mm-hmm. get that. I get it. Hore, it's a bit of a pain, but it looks too scripted if the only people that are at an event or are at an, a, a gathering, whatever, it's just the ladies. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't look natural yeah. for me. Who was this lady? Um Her Majesty. She yes, got yes, like yes, a, yes, a, yes, a plus yes. one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that was it. I mean, Omushe was there. Yeah, and <laughs> clearly they didn't invite a lot of people. No, but I'm just saying, Hore, you are hosting a high tea. I don't think it was. I was expecting, Hore, you are hosting an event, so there are going to be other people. I'm not saying you're throwing a party, so there should mm-hmm. be 15,000 people there. I'm just saying, Hore, mm-hmm. you are Mrs. Mops, you're hosting a high tea. Mm-hmm. I expected that there would be other people there for this, you know? Yeah, the cameras can focus on the ladies and the interactions of the ladies, but I wish that there was more people there and more movement to actually make it an event. Can I come in and vouch for them on this one? Okay, cool. Go ahead. Um, so remember with the first episode, yeah. we're still trying to get to know the ladies. Yes. Uh, I don't think they've really introduced themselves to each other properly. Yeah. I feel like the high tea was basically about that. Mm. How how it was set up and everything else. Obviously, it was the cast only yeah. and friends of the show being Omoshe. Mm. So I think that they were trying to introduce themselves to each other. Maybe I could be wrong. I could be right. You just never know. Maybe that was the case. I, so I, you I never was, know. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. Anyway. How did you feel about the part where, um, who's this lady? Um, the, other, the other lady who was confronting Her Majesty about calling a child wild. Oh, Manche. Yes. <laughs> I think I think they're looking for drama. They're looking to create drama. Mrs. No Mobs drama. wanted explosion. Yeah, <laughs> like 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 um, I didn't feel it. I feel like it was a waste of time. You know, um, who and I she put, responded in a very calm manner. Hey, yeah, I, mean, that's I, the thing. I, I expected them to have like exchange of words and stuff because like. it was it was it was silly. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It, it 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 was silly. It was a contrived anger that should not even have been there. It mm-hmm. was that girl was forcing a storyline. Was forcing a moment. That just wasn't there. You get, you get, you get what I'm saying? Mm. And I, I know Corey, Mrs. Mops was pushing that because she wanted it to be a thing. Yeah. You know, but um, I didn't feel like it was a thing. I didn't really think that it would be a thing. Right? Mm. Okay, cool. So um, that other breaking storyline, it's a brand thing. Um, hold on just one second. So, mm-hmm. Caspanio Vest has just uh, signed a deal to be part of Sprite Lamelight. So this um, Sprite Lamelight thing, uh, also, this year will be uh, Sprite Limelight will be partnering with our uh, Grammy Award winning writer, producer, and lead singer of One Republic, Ryan Terra. You know Ryan Terra, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And uh, South African, you know, superstar Caspanio Vest, Mexican superstar Feet or Fade. Wow. Brazilian Watuati, Lexa, and somebody from China called Lei Zhang. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, South okay. African, uh, Caspar is the only African who's going to be part of that. So yeah, congratulations to him. Actually, congratulations. He deserves all of these things. Yeah, I mean, that, man, guy is, that guy definitely works hard for each and everything that he achieves. Yeah. So I'm really proud of him on this one. Um, hopefully he secures more. Yeah, let's not talk about it too much. <laughs> it's not paying us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, so um, what's next? What's, what's next on the agenda? Uh, uh, um, what, what, what? You see, this is very difficult for me to say because I don't want to talk about Future shows that have not been promoted yet, because I feel like we're giving them free promotion, <laughs> and we shouldn't, kind of thing. Which, which one? But you guys have been posting about uh, this new show that's coming to um, that magic called Machai. Mm-hmm. What do you want to say about it? Do you have anything to say about it? I'm happy that Kahiso <laughs> Rakosa is back. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a while on mm. TV, and I actually missed her on TV. Mm. I mean, the last time we saw her was actually on Generations. Yeah. part of her. Um, I'm actually proud of Kabunina. She's actually securing shows left yeah. and right, um, which is an awesome thing. I'm not sure what the storyline is about. I haven't read much about it. Mm. Um, they're not really giving us much in terms of the trailer or yeah. what they're advertising for now. But I'm interested to see as to how it does. I mean, South Africa is actually doing well in terms of dramedies now. I mean, do you remember what's the show? Um, um, entangled. Yes, yes, yes. That yes, was with, brilliant. With Abu Vuyo yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually nice. So yeah. I like the fact that they inv- um, investing in more. Um, in t- um, what is it? Dramedies. Yeah, which is great. But now that's that's on Zanzi Magic, right? Mm-hmm. Which is good because what they were Isn't doing. Isn't it like, premiering first on One Magic? Then I was getting there. I think I think I think it's gonna be on Zanzi Magic. I think it's ten episode on Zanzi Magic. Ten, not the Yeah, ten. no ten. Ah. From what I saw, I think it's it starts in twentieth July. Ten episodes. 
Was that the magic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, think, I, th- I, th- I think that was the info that I got. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I thought that was a good thing because what they've been doing with putting um, shows on One Magic first and whatever, sometimes it sabotages the show because by the time they get to One Magic, um, there are some people who already watched them. There is this thing that I saw the other day. Oh, I forgot the name now. And sh- because I wasn't going to talk about it, but now that you mentioned One Magic, Rumi's. There was a series that mm-hmm. went to One Magic called Rumi's, right? It's a youth comedy ish kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, and Look, it was horrible. The acting on there is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> Look, uh, my girl, my girl Zola Nombona is there, you know, and some few new mm-hmm. faces and all of that. But it's just horrible. Yeah, the, what's, going, uh, what's going on there? What, what is um, it about? It's, 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 um, is this roomies? These guys who share, like when I say guys, I mean boys and girls, you know, these, they're not students. I don't know what they do for anything. So it's like the friends of South Africa. Yes, pretty much, you know. Yeah. So they share this 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 house in Melville, you know. So it's what's happening in their lives, you mm-hmm. know, boyfriends, sex, and all these mm-hmm. other these other thing. Right? The premise is nice. I think number one, um, they made a mistake of putting it on one magic and making it a prime time show because it's not. That show appeals to a more younger audience. Like I think if they put that show on Zanti Magic on a Saturday, couple six or five, or whatever, it would have an audience because the young, you know, your, your TikTok Even on an market, yeah. time slot during the your week TikTok, week whatever, your yeah. TikTok kids would love it because it's yeah. it's 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 low brow. It's 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 not yeah, you know, it's it's is, easy watch. Is it a comedy or drama series? It's a comedy ish. Oh, okay, dramedy. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to call it a dramedy because now when you say dramedy, you're thinking uh, uh, barking desperate housewives, and it's not that. It's like not. it's 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 fluff. Like it's 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 so fluff. Like it's it, yeah. It it could be written by students who just came out of varsity and mm-hmm. they were given a, a budget and a project. <laughs> I like your brutal on that. But about the, yeah. but but the thing is, for the right audience, it works. About the audience that MTV is trying to target with Sugar and whatever, that audience, I'm, I believe you me, that show would find an audience Has within that demographic. Yeah, it played it played on One, one Magic at some uh, point. I mean, MTV Sugar. Yes, it's on. Did it premiere? Yeah, I think it, it has. I didn't know. Yeah, MTV Sugar, there's a new series, season right now that's on. Okay, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, there's yeah. a new season that, that's on right now. Yes, it premiered actually like last week or something like that. In Shit. June, yeah, like late late June and all of that. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least there's something that you don't watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I feel like in terms of the industry right now, um, there's diversity, like you're saying, and I'm really enjoying that. And I really um mm. agree with what yeah. you're saying, Jorge. We need to see more variety on TV and we need to see less serious telenovela-ish, you know, less serious violence and yeah, stuff like that. Um but... about the well, problem is we have a variety of shows, but they're not really advertising them. We don't know much about them. Okay. There isn't really enough marketing about them. I mean, as you had mentioned MTV Sugar right now, yeah. I didn't know that it actually premiered. I saw the advert, I saw them announcing the cast, yeah. but I didn't know as to when it was actually going to air on TV. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, mm-hmm. fair enough. I mean, like, like what they did with that um, comedy show that they had on Zanti Magic, Yabo, Yabo, Mapaseka, and, 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 yeah, whatever. They didn't bother to promote that. I actually liked, I actually watched episode one till yeah. the last one. I actually yeah. enjoyed that one, yeah. Yeah, but they were not pushing it in terms of the broadcasters. Like, I mean, like, it was the first comedy that they've had on the platform in a very long time. There would have been the and selling point. And it's a Manda End production. You know, yeah, there would have yeah, been a great yeah. selling point, and they, did, they didn't do that. With it. So what else? Um, Isfiso. Um, Isfiso has concluded season two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually like this season, eh? Okay. Uh, that's the one that had Linda Mtoba on yeah. it. Um, perfect. Um, I just like the ending. I liked how they concluded the whole storyline and everything. And I like the fact that Ubazo from 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 the first season to the, the, the second one, she's yeah. actually growing as a villain. And you actually she's growing to a point where people actually love her as yeah. as the way she is as a villain and stuff like that. I'm really proud of Chris Q on this one. I think this is his best work, definitely. Oh, I mean, I okay. always I always criticize his work. I mean, I'm not really happy with most of the projects that he's on, but um, his is like his is he really did, did yeah, a good I job. I've, on I haven't watched the show. I don't know why. It, please, it never really, watch it, it, it never really appealed to me. I don't, I don't I don't know why. I've never. It's really actually been, good. Been drawn to Imagine. It, yeah. it, okay, I don't want to describe it like that, but let's say. Lindy Wedi Ghana at a younger age. Okay. But a gold digger version of her. All right. She's just doing whatever it takes to actually live the soft life. Okay, cool. Oh, huh? uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, so I see you still watching. You still watching uh, the river. Um, what's happening there? I'm very loyal to the show. Okay. <laughs> Convince me to go back to watching the river right okay. now. Okay. The river is actually perfect right now because of the storyline that's currently happening. Mm. Um, Andil is actually challenging him, his mother, his yeah. mother right now. I mean, there's like a whole new lady. I'm um, not sure if you're familiar with her. She used to play Buleng on Rhythm City. Buleng on What's Rhythm her name? City. What's her name? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm she's playing, actually yeah. playing a fake Sangoma who's basically manipulating Andil into believing that he's, um, his mother killed his sisters yeah. as a sacrifice to have all the wealth and power yeah. that she has. So right now, um, she's creating conflict between mother and son. And yeah, let me guess. Lindo is gonna find out. Elizabeth is gonna kill her. And yeah, oh, I mean, why can't I mean, Lindo has to win. See, so. but that's my problem. That's my problem. That has been my problem with 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 the rhythm. Not rhythm. Sit with the, the river. river. Is that thing? The story becomes so predictable because the end is always the same. Isn't it supposed yeah, to be that every way? new character that comes in is gonna try and cause conflict within uh, uh, Lindy Way and one of her family members, and then Lindy will have to kill that person. But she's not always winning all the time. I mean, she loses her battles now and then. I mean, she like lost when her, uh, Emma, Emma, Emma. I mean, she she actually bribed Emma into not um, airing out their dirty laundry to the world. Okay, so does that mean that she's won? She didn't win. <laughs> no, yeah, she didn't win. But remember when she lost everything on season two? And then she gained it back, you know, when she went back to refill it. It's a good thing. Uh, I mean, she can't really yeah, lose yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. She has to win at some point. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I see a lot of predictions about how it might end. It's okay. actually interesting. I see a lot of people saying that they would actually like to see Lindywe being, um, like, someone like Andile taking down Lindywe or her just killing herself at the end. Yeah, look, my thing, my thing is that like, the perfect ending has to be Lindywe dying. There is no other. There is what no if other years later they want to bring it back? Satisfying, yeah? They bring it back for one. <laughs> they can, it's possible. Nah, it's okay. They must not come back. Lindio has to die. Here's the thing there's a, there's a thing that um, writers, okay. Mm. So there's a thing in storytelling. A writer signs a contract, you know, yeah. with uh, channel. his audience. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I'm not talking about a, a, an actual literal contract. Yeah, yeah. Just a writer signs a contract, with the you audience. know, yeah. hypothetical contract with his audience mm -hmm. that a bad character will always get his comeuppance at the end. That's, that's just a given. That's, that's one of the tenets of storytelling. If you're writing a story, like if you, you must notice if you're watching films, for instance, right? Mm. If a character starts as a bad character, at some point they have to pay for that in one way or the other. Either they lose somebody that they love or they themselves, losing, you know, yeah. lose. Kind of thing. That's yeah. the, that's the, that's the unwritten contract that you know writers have to write with because audiences by nature and just as inherent human being, we like to see bad people pay for their bad deeds, even though you know we envy them. So, but isn't that what has been happening on the river? She yeah, lost her daughter. For the finale, she, she needs to pay, like you know, like okay, like, 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 I like, agree. Uh, Maybe she penance. needs to yeah. die at the end as like a conclusion of everything she's done. Karma, you know karma catching up with her. Yeah. Exactly. So without Lindua dying. Mm -hmm. Think about what you what, what you thought when when the queen ended, and Harriet and Ginger just walking out in jail. I thought Harriet, Harriet was gonna nothing, die. Actually, nothing in her life has changed. She just continues to be Harriet and Jay and whatever. And she's actually being portrayed as like a hero that she gets to give the final, you know, like a uh, uh, goodbye. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> uh yeah. The, I wasn't happy with the ending yeah. for the queen, obviously, but. I mean, as long as Harriet won at the end, that's all that matters. <laughs> but you see, but now, Ulona can, can, can win. Ulindue can win. Ulindue can win. Can win at the end. Lindue must die. Hashtag Lindue must die. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lindue must die. Okay, cool. So what, what else has been in your TL in terms of the industry? Like, I mean, I saw, I saw, I saw um, the conversation that was happening online about, uh, um, and I don't want to keep on talking about Ushaga all the time, but yeah. Um, about the sex scene on Ushaka. We didn't talk about mm -hmm. the sex the last time that we, we spoke about Ushaka and Lambe. Um, I mean, look, episode two, Mina Shem, the sex that people were so outraged about, I did not see. I did not find the sex between uh, the, uh, Hope's character and um, U U Utemba's character to be that explicit. Mm. But this time around... <laughs> they just saw naked people and just went berserk about it. Yeah, well, yeah you, know, you, you know what I mean? Um, 
Do you, th- do you think that we cry we, we cry foul too much right now on, on Twitter? We want to be offended by everything and everything? Anything and everything? Uh, I, I don't know how to respond to that yeah. one. To be honest, I saw this good tweet that I actually retweeted. I actually yeah. like what the person said. There's actually an age restriction to the show yeah. for a certain reason. Yeah. If it says 16, just know that you can't let your, 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 80, yeah. your eight-year-old child watch it with you obviously because there's going to be explicit sin i mean they also show the signs l v s and yeah, n yeah. and all that stuff i mean that on its own it's actually a clue as to what might happen yeah. uh so with the whole sex scene um I, I like the fact that they didn't focus much on it in terms of the scene they didn't make it that long yeah it um i didn't see much of the sex scene also maybe if we were talking about adulting that would be a different thing yeah. then yeah Okay, cool, 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 cool. Anything else? Um, what am I? Okay, Devon July. Okay, uh, I don't know anything about fashion, so uh, I don't know anything about fashion. Uh, so I don't know what. I'm okay, say uh, yeah, Go ahead. I don't know much about fashion, also, but yeah. I'm actually happy that Devon July is going back to what it used to be How? after COVID. I mean, I mean, there's now buzz around it. Which buzz? I mean, people were talking about it was trending. <laughs> what buzz? I mean, uh, the fashion is still a talking point okay. of the event. People were just um, criticizing some were happy with yeah. everything else. But I like the fact that we're getting back to what Devon July used to be. Remember, didn't it take like a, a year break or something? Yeah, it was virtual, I think, for a year or two. I don't know. But yeah, it was virtual. Yeah, uh, things are slowly opening but up. But here's the thing, though. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we live in two different worlds. Because Mina, I think that Devon July is dead. I think the hype around it is dead. I think most people didn't even know that Devon July is happening until they started seeing tweets that Devon July is yeah, happening. That I think the days like of promoting Devon July, I don't know if it's the issue with Hollywood bets or the issue with just the fact that that's an era that we should just let go of. I don't know what it is, no. but I feel like I feel like that's like saying let's let let's let go of awards. Let's let go of we awards. We can. No. <laughs> we need them. <laughs> we can if we must. But yeah, but 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 my thing, my thing, my thing is that I feel like um Devin July has lost its luster. Like um I looked at even the fashion. Like, guys, we can't have every year only have Sumizu be the one that's actually making news and have the same. Like, that's another thing. Like, it's the same people. It's the same Sumizu, Lasizwe, Mohalem, um, mm-hmm. or Jessica, Nkosi, and who else? And Mamkis. She wasn't even there this time. Do you understand? Mm. But all the tweets about Devon July mentioned her. Did they? Yes. What, what, when they were dancing, when they, when they, I think that part of the Devon July party scene or whatever that was. But anyway. Yeah. The point that I'm trying to make is this, is for as long as the Devon July is not promoted enough pre the weekend of Devon July, for as long as there's diversity towards the people that are covered at the Devon July and people that are making an effort at the Devon July, for me, then the Devon July has really not grown and it's not going back to anything. It's just become a stale, redundant, same old song kind of thing. I'm still excited about it. You know, I don't know why. And yeah. which is great, you know, to each his own. You know, you still you're excited yeah, about it. True. I am not. Yeah. I want more. Yeah. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Um, I don't know. You know, back in the day when when you said you should go, but back in the day, you used to have different my keys that made noise, you know. You used to Remember know, my bala noise. You, hello, you yeah. know, like literally. <laughs> so you had different my keys, you have you knew Hore. Okay, fine. When it comes to the fashion and celebrity, if these celebrities are not here, then they're gonna be here. So you 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 had people were invited by different brands and different Top whatever. Would cover you the... you get what I'm saying? So what that would do is that they would create a, a pool of celebrities instead of just the same people every year and the same people being covered by everybody. I said, you knew you knew Or oh, if this person was not gonna be covered by the bloggers, then Sunday World will have that other person, you know. But now, like literally in the pictures, the pictures that you were seeing on Twitter. Are the same on like are the same pictures that you saw on on the newspaper are the same p- pictures that you're gonna see everywhere because else there weren't many as celebrities exactly as and the reason why there aren't as many celebrities there is because the only people who can afford to fly celebrities down or pay celebrities to be there is hollywood bets and hollywood bets probably can only invite 10 people do they do they look at following also i suppose you know but now imagine back in the day when you had different brands having their own my keys then Every brand would invite their own people to go. There. I remember my my first my first um, 
the Ben July experience was I was actually invited there by Flying Fish. And they had their own Marquis situation happening there. We were, we were Flying Fish's guests at, at, at the thing. You know what I'm saying? And there were other people who were there with other brands. And, and, and that was fun. You know, you know I've, never, I've never been there. How is the setup? Is it like a Marquis next to each? Well, the, the setup changes every year. But what, what happens is it's, 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 um, it's a big space. With different, well, my keys. <laughs> the noise. You know? Um, of course it's noisy. And at the time, at the I same mean, time, it's a race course, so you've got these thing, these people with speakers, you know, doing their race horse things, whatever. <laughs> people don't it. know much about the and horses, also. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the event is about horses. You know. Do they even bet though? Yeah, people bet. No, no, like seriously, like um, at the the main my key or the main um, what do they call it? There's a word for it. Um, this, the, 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 you know how fellas in soccer, you call it the what, what box. Ne? Even at the race course, they've got these, um, spaces like VIP spaces for people. Oh, who, okay. Uh, I big, get that. Big, I get that. Bad, yeah. uh, kind of people are. So they have something similar to that, um, where people who bet a lot of money, because there's a lot of money that exchange hands in terms of this thing, like millions, you know, Rona black people, we just go there to for the drink fashion and vibes. for the fashion and the vibes. Uh, there yeah. are people who actually go there to actually spend money yeah. on horses and, and all of that. Right? Yeah. Cool, cool. So um, there's nothing else. I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on my side. I'm excited for Fatal Seduction. Okay. I mean, in Netflix, a few minutes ago, they've just actually released a teaser. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it's going to be then. Hopefully, it's it's not, it's more than six episodes. I, 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 I hate the series that I have Shorter episodes. Yeah, um, in South Africa, so it's probably going to be eight episodes, if not ten. I mean, that's it's, enough. It's, it's not going to be I'm not sick. ready to see Homoto yeah. Christopher in a sex scene. <laughs> hey. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Actually, we should invite Homoto over. Uh, uh, um, 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 we're working on it. I know you wanted to have her. Yeah, um, that would yeah, be interesting. We're working on it. Because the thing is that I don't know if we should get her. Okay, so what do you want to talk to her about? Just fatal attraction or do you want her to come on? SJ about her entire everything career. about her entire career. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. Her roles on Legacy, Scandal, mm. all the all the things she's done over the years. Yeah, ah, all right, cool, 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 cool. We'll yeah. see, we'll we'll see how we can make that happen for ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. right, cool. I think I think I think that's our episode. Um, we've covered everything that we need to cover. Um, yeah. we'll see each other again uh on Wednesday. I think we're dropping this on what Monday. Yeah. So yeah. So we'll see each other on Wednesday, and hopefully something. More exciting would have happened. Congratulations to Casper Your Vest. Mm. Um, who else did we congratulate? Congratulations Show to Max. Show Rosemary, Rosemary doing, doing well. Yeah, yeah, Show yeah, yeah. Congratulations on your, yeah. on your you know big numbers and all of that. Yeah, and then uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week. Remember, use the hashtag hashtag the entertainment alert and hashtag the entertainment alert podcast. Hi, <laughs> T.A.